Richmond has a reputation for fireworks, and tonight fans will be focused on row seven where Jeff Gordon starts next to Tony Stewart. Gordon got his first top 20 finish in five weeks at Darlington coming home fourth, but in three of the last five races here, 31st or worse. Stewart won here one year ago. Jeff Gordon on the inside of row seven and Tony Stewart alongside. Oh boy, what a great row that is. All the fans are on their feet. The pace car is on pit road and here we go in the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400. We'll get those bonus points out of the way quickly. We practiced well this morning. Schrader there, the 36, the yellow m and star, started in 17th. He has worked his way up to the 12th position. Almost had that position on Tony Stewart. Now Stewart using that high line early here. Makes it work for him. Gordon comes right along as well. Tony Stewart is the defending champion of this race. He started second last year, won it, leaving 333 of the 400 laps. See, Tony Stewart, the 20 car, continuing on his march towards the front. He's now on the inside of the 55 car. And here's Jeff Gordon trying to go by on the outside. Well, Jeff is trying to figure out who do I follow, the 55 or the 20? Maybe I'll try the 55 and see if we can both get by the 20. Kenny Walsh was in front of the 20. Tony Stewart is trying to make that pass. Tony and Jeff have lost some spots since the race started. Evidently their line did not go exactly the way they wanted it. They backed up a little bit. And Jeff Gordon trying to get by Tony Stewart. Well, they're giving each other a lot of room here, at least in the early going, uh, because of something that we all remember that happened early in the Where was that? At Watkins Glen. Oh, yeah. First lap or second lap. Doubling up. Right uh, here. And Jeff Gordon went quickly past Dave Plain. He's up on the outside of Mark Martin. There you see him. And he goes by Mark Martin, moves into the seventh position. You're right, Dave Blaney did get just right side tires. The front brothers, here is Stewart, who has found his teammate, if you will, or at least role mate when they started this race. They started side by side, and Tony Stewart now takes away that seventh position, and Tony took her below the yellow line. Yes, sir, he was right on the bottom of the racetrack. Ward Burton and Jeff Gordon are running seventh and eighth. They're about five and a half, five and three quarter seconds behind the leader. He has. He was back uh, about three or four seconds, and now he's got it down to about two seconds from the leader, but he's up with the 99. Pretty close. Bill Weber has more. Well, it's been an interesting night so far for the 22 of Burton and the 24 of Gordon. Ward's car was loose early on. They tightened him up on that first stop, and then Ward said the car is a ton better. Now it's a little bit too tight. Just the opposite for Gordon. His car was too tight at the beginning, but they did loosen him up, and that improved the ride. One other thing about Gordon, they are looking at a potential overheating problem. Temperature's been up around 230, comes back down to 210, and starts to climb a little bit. No talk about it the last few laps, though. Ward just did lose the seventh position to Gordon. Ward is uh has made his winston cup debut here at richmond in march of 1994 his most recent top five came here 
rather came at Bristol on the short track in the early part of the year. Finished third at Bristol. Oh, here's a good battle, and this is up in the fifth, sixth, and seventh positions. That's Stewart. Jerry Nadeau and Jeff Gordon. And here comes Ward Burton right behind him. I think what we've seen tonight, I think Tony Stewart has a good race car tonight. He ever gets up there with the one, the 99, and the two. I think you'll be able to race with him. He's pretty close uh, in terms of position, but still a little bit of race track to go before he catches up with the Bobby Labonte car that's running fourth. And Jeff Gordon is back there in the seventh position. Jeff Gordon is five and a half seconds behind the leader, Rusty Wallace. driving a brand new car here tonight. It has been tested, but has never raced until tonight. As we watch this, Jeff Gordon has moved in front of Jerry Nadeau, his teammate, to take over the sixth spot. And he's only about two-tenths of a second behind Bobby Labonte. 